My name is Frances Payne. I'm um, an artist working primarily in paper cuts, um, but I do bring other mediums into it. For years, I painted on canvas with acrylics. All my work wasn't polished so much as it was quite um, finished. Probably about, it's got to be about three or four years ago, I stumbled on paper cutting. I just immediately fell in love with it. Um, the work that I initially saw was um, a lady called Lottie Reniger. It was one of her um, paper cut scenes. Um, and Lottie Reniger is actually an animation artist back from the 1930s. Predates Walt Disney. The piece that I saw was um, called In the Park and it's, it's quite damaged. It, it, it doesn't take away from just how beautiful it is. I was just completely and totally, well this is it, this, this is what I should be doing. And it just snowballed from there. Um, I started experimenting. I think the first paper cut I ever did, I did it just with a, a normal craft knife. And it came out surprisingly well. Um, if I can do something that detailed and with clean lines with a craft knife, I wonder what I can do with a scalpel. The paper cutting probably started about four years ago, um, after that first encounter with Lottie Reniger's work. Um, and then it's just snowballed from there. Then, I think it was last year, I thought, oh, I know what I want to do with it. I want to stitch into my paper cuts, I want to use the threads in my paper cuts. And um, it's also actually led into me playing with lino cut because that is all about taking away with the, the prints from the lino cut, I stitch into them. Um, it's that additional layer. Thinking about stories and thinking about folklore and fairy tales, which are, is where I, I find most of my inspiration for the subjects of what I'm, I'm putting into the work. I did a lot of work to start with working in white paper, which adds a lightness to the piece. Um, and then I switch to, the, to black and then with the threads I add the colour in with the threads and that just gives, it gives a darkness, it gives an edge to it. Um, the fairy tales that I'm thinking about in my head the whole time that I'm doing these pieces, they're not sugary. Like all good stories, there's different layers to a story. So that's really what I'm looking to achieve with it rather than it just being about one particular medium. I'm just a sucker for detail. I'll put together a composition and I look at it afterwards I think that's going to be amazing but oh my word it's going to be an absolute nasty one to cut um, but I don't care because I'm at the same time as I'm thinking that's going to be really difficult to cut because of trying to make the knife move through the paper in a certain way and it, it doesn't really like doing it but I don't it's it, that's the challenge for me and then I'll sit back from it once it's all finally done and I hold it in my hands and I think I actually did it I actually did it and I did it all from one piece of paper so you can find me on Facebook which is francis.pain.artist or on Instagram which is fp.artist 